Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. This is the second part of a two-part video looking at oxidation and reduction. In the last video, we saw that oxidation is when a chemical loses electrons, and reduction is when a chemical gains electrons. We also saw that an oxidizing agent carries out oxidation, and in a reaction the oxidizing agent is reduced, as it accepts electrons from another chemical. A reducing agent carries out reduction, and because a reducing agent donates electrons to another chemical, the reducing agent is oxidized. In this video, I'm going to give you some questions on redox reactions to try yourself. I'm showing you here the reaction between calcium and chlorine gas. I'd like you to work out which element is oxidized and which is reduced, and then write half equations for those reactions. I'd also like you to identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. Now, to answer this question, you'll need to work out the charges on the ions in calcium chloride. You can use your periodic table to help you do that. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, on the left hand side of the equation, both the calcium and the chlorine atoms are uncharged, as they are elements. On the right hand side of the equation, calcium chloride contains the calcium ion, Ca2, and the chloride ion, Cl. This means that the calcium atom has lost two electrons to form the calcium ion, and the two chlorine atoms have gained one electron each to form two chloride ions. Because the calcium atom has lost electrons, it has been oxidized, and because the chlorine atoms have gained electrons, they've been reduced. And I'm showing you the half equations for those reactions here. The calcium has donated electrons, so it is the reducing agent. And because the chlorine accepted the electrons, the chlorine is the oxidizing agent. OK, here's another example for you. This shows the reaction between chlorine and magnesium iodide. I'd like you to work out which element is oxidized and which is reduced, and then write half equations for those reactions. I'd also like you to identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. To answer this, you'll need to remember that halogens form ions with a charge of minus 1. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, on the left hand side of the equation, we have a chlorine molecule containing two uncharged chlorine atoms. However, on the right hand side of the equation, they have formed two chloride ions, each with a charge of minus one. Because the two chlorine atoms have gained one electron each, this is an example of a reduction. On the left hand side of the equation, we have two iodide ions, each with a charge of minus 1. And on the right hand side of the equation, we have an iodine molecule containing two uncharged iodine atoms. Because the two iodide ions have lost one electron each, this is an example of an oxidation. I'm showing the two half equations for these reactions here. The iodide ions have donated electrons, so they are the reducing agent. And because the chlorine accepted the electrons, the chlorine is the oxidizing agent. As you can see, in this reaction, the magnesium ion has not changed, so this means that it's a spectator ion. In the next video, we'll start looking at how to use oxidation numbers. 